Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel and Agamemnon's campaign in Total War Saga Troy. Let's get this started. I believe yesterday we defeated this army of Aegon Pelasgians and there's another army here from Terea. Names which really don't tell me anything. I mean it's really hard to remember these names. You really have to play it intensively to remember. And we also defeated an army from Caledon. We tried to do some sort of an ambush stance, but didn't manage to do so successfully. Either way, we defeated an army, so now we can besiege the city. I believe that there's no point in actually sitting here and defeating this army. What I will do is that I'll take this army from Troy and... Ooh. He's not at war with this faction. You, Let's see, what if I was to us? you to join the war against these two factions and I ask you to make it work you'd ask for a lot of resources there's actually you ask for a lot of resources but for no reason it was a lot more than let's ask them to go to war with this faction yeah, no he just doesn't want to I was going to redirect this army to attack this one because I would like to take Agamemnon over here and I would like to take him let's go around here no point in taking attrition right and we're gonna attack this army right here Marathon you have an army in here but not too great still focus on this target you might be able to take them down, you should be able to take them down, because even though he has renowned archers, they're not going to be enough to take out all of his militia. Then for this hero, we are going yeah, we are going to start marching within his lands here. Aegisthus, let's see, what can we give you? 10% to missile damage of missile units in the hero's army. Or more melee defense. Let's do further melee defense here. We're gonna besiege Calidon. They're gonna suffer attrition very quickly here. I don't know if there's a point to actually attacking the city. When the gods speak, the wise listen. Let's do a ritual. No, we can only do it next turn. And anything else do we have here? So an expired barter with Sparta. I'm sure my brother and I will. Which was for wood. In exchange for a little gold. My Cine can be upgraded to level 4. And I am going to do this. Because I do want to go further. One of the important buildings that we will want here is this Champion's Hall. Which will give us some more diplomatic relations, extra ranks for our heroes. Unlocks the position of Loa Getas. And some extra ranks. Anyway, so a whole lot of things over here. It will increase the recruitment cost of all army. Ooh. Plus 40% recruitment cost of all army units. So even though we're getting the positions and we're getting extra ranks. But it would increase also the rank, the recruit rank of all units. I see. So they're just more expensive but at least they start at a higher rank. Making them better prepared for combat. We still need to upgrade this city because we would need a Tomb of Kings for all of those resources per vassal. Yeah, that sounds about right to be honest. I mean, what I am thinking here... That we're gonna get this position. Having one here would increase diplomacy with the Achaeans plus to rank... Recruit rank for all units faction-wide. So that is really good. 
plus this army would have a lot of strength. For these ones, I believe we need temples. They would reduce the cost of priestesses and also the construction cost of temples. Should I bring in another army? Wouldn't be bad necessarily to bring in another army. Right, motivation when winning the battle. And more motivation when ending a turn in a region with organized games. Lose motivation when losing a battle and minus one motivation if the hero ends turn in an owned province with negative populace. I feel like this can be easily steadied out by having organized games. He's a defender. I am going to bring in another hero. I'm gonna lose us some food, but I really feel like it is important to bring another one in. Sure. Let's bring this guy. We will go down in history. And I'm not gonna recruit an army for him just yet, but I am guessing that he's gonna get a tiny bit of experience, a trickle of experience if you'd like. Let's see what does Teria do. They're starting to march north in a forced march situation. This guy is moving forward. But I am going to add ask Troizen to go after him also. A maelstrom, minus 5% to all resources, minus 5 morale where two units fighting in the region, and minus 15% movement range. Okay, that is fine. Lord of men. I yeah. will not. Let's land over here. That is beyond me. Let my enemies It's a bit of an annoyance dist annoying distraction, but what can you do? I am not going to declare war on them with our allies, I am just going to go by myself. Two heroes, they're nothing impressive. They have a decent force, but nothing too amazing, nothing that could stop us, really. Yeah, and I'm going to wait and starve them out for one turn. Give him some attrition. Let's make war. We're not doing super great on all resources. I was trying to think whether I could bring in a few extra troops. I like build another army and then go southwards. But if every one of these costs a hundred good in upkeep, then that is not too good for us in the long run. I will petition the gods. The fates roll well. Let's push this it's and this. Well. Keep the favor up for both Hephaestus here and Poseidon. Could go on extra level, right? And then we would get 30% armor piercing. Plus 20 armor. And enables the recruitment of divine craftsmen. I do not know exactly what are those, so let's do a Hecatomb here, get us closer to that level 3. He's getting very little experience per turn, but he is getting experience.
Let's see, I can give him some basic armor with some motivation. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else except to build, right? Is there any special building in here that I would care for in Thebes? No, just the Champion's Hall. Fields of Ares, which would give us some um, favors with Ares. Plus 10 to the melee damage of Spartoi. And the Spartoi has a Gannerson unit. But I don't care about this particular one. Let's see, for you, let's build this Hephaestion, minus 3% bronze upkeep for all units and favor of Hephaestus increased by 350. In here, yeah. Do some influence. But get some growth and some extra food. I am going to do that. Or... No. Maybe I'm just gonna add another tower here just to improve our defenses. Still, I would like to get a more food. Maybe we just go with the extra ports or try to improve it like this. Right, level 3, even more food. Yeah, and influence is going forward, but it's not too great. And I believe that we could get... A bit more influence somewhere around here. But maybe I'm wrong? Oh, already took it. Fine, 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 fine! Hector of Troy, what will you do? I don't see you doing anything impressive. Let's just make it quick. Paris is advancing. They're gonna have access to Cyclops here as well. Traders from far away. Would we allow them to trade, giving us for four turns? Lose some influence for 4 turns, but then get a lot of resources. Or, buy some of their wares, which would give us 15% bronze per turn, plus another 300 bronze per turn. We'll do this one. I do not want to lose the influence at the moment, especially since we're trying to establish our influence in some of these regions, especially the ones that are producing food. Divine Ire. Poseidon grew jealous of Agamemnon's fleet and conspired with the beasts of the death to one city. The fleet is ready to cross the Aegean, but alas, the gods have taken a distaste to your mighty enterprise. Powerful gales, no doubt sent by Poseidon himself, beat your ships and batter your ports. Yet, although the immortals are fickle, they can be bargained with. You shall send an agent to Auropos, in the province of Aulis, to besiege a reprieve. Okay, Oropos is very close. It's gonna take us two turns, another two turns. I got a spear here, which will increase the attack of all our spearmen. You have leveled up from the mission. Reduce upkeep for clubmen and archers. I don't care about that right now. 
What else are we going to give Agamemnon? Probably the charge, right? For the shielded units? Let's do that. He has actually two points. Then I'm going to go with this one right here. With the blood sacrifice, increased rage gain when activated, provides rage when activated for blood sacrifice and increases the armor piercing morale and weapon damage. Sounds pretty good to me. And this one, I could increase morale and damage, sure. Strike hard and true. Yeah. On the move. He's running away. I think he has also been damaged by that hero, so... I'm just gonna take the replenishments here. Perfect. The envoy that we have in our army gain also honorable, which increases our replenishment rate by 5%. So that leaves us... We may as well speak now. Military access for Pitya. Hmm. I do, have... <sighs> I do not know exactly what to do here, whether I should go forward or not. I mean, I almost feel like getting into this and establish sort of a forward post but we're also going to become constantly harassed I feel let me turn the camera slightly Yes, we should talk. Defensive raider and ardent warrior. You are far from being a vassal. Take them down. Bring them okay, we're still gonna wait here for them to take some attrition. And I believe it's the same situation over here, right? Yes. Bring them down. Fighting fit. What resources do we have laying around? There's some bronze here. There's some gold up here. Wood, wood and gold. Yeah, you know what? I am not going to do this at the moment. We're just going to go into a force march. Take you in the water. And I am going to take you all over, all the way down here. We're going to secure the island of Crete before going forward. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the cities here. Could get some extra stone by just spending a bit for bronze. There's Poseidon Square. You know what? Let me bring Thebes to the next level. And then I'll throw in a building that will increase our influence. So we can get more from these regions. Because there's, as you can see, there's stone, there's wood, and there's also food. And that's about it. Okay, you would like us to give you 24 gold per turn, and you're gonna give us a thousand food, no, five, a thousand food as a single barter, and 581 food per turn. It is a good deal for us.
yeah, now we're slightly in the positive. United against us. Where are these guys? Okay, so... At this point, it feels like we're... Getting further and further into this war as... They are joining forces against us. This 6 stack army, I do not know exactly what its plan is, but it's becoming very annoying. Let's bring you to Oropos and do this mission. Let's see, Agamemnon, you know what? You are already here. Let's bring you to clear this army if they stay around. With you over here, we're going to straight up attack. And we're just gonna occupy. Nice. Plus three melee defense, plus two motivation, don't care. He, the axe, plus one recruitment rank to axe units, and plus seven to melee attack of hero. Okay, a young servant, minus five to upkeep cost of all units in the hero's army. Okay, he also got a decorated iron dagger, plus five to influence in the province, and plus eight to melee attack. Duty first. That is pretty good. As a level up, let me give you the recharge here. No, actually, I feel like it's better to to do which one of these. Man, there are so many good things here. I feel like I'm not going to have enough points to do this, but... More missile resistance for all units in the hero's army. Sure, let's go with the missile resistance here. Eager for action. Now we have the stone. They have the food here. There's also this region. Which we could take the wood from, then we will get bronze. I cannot do it. This I'm region right here. He's a diplomat. He's reliable. And he's a raider. What are the chances that we could establish something good here? Well, very, it's going to be difficult. Sure, he's going to give us military access, maybe non-aggression, but it seems like the rest of them... Why wouldn't you... Not, let's say, why wouldn't you accept being a defensive ally? Baseline evaluation at minus 120 and relative faction strength and threats 5.8. So they don't consider us as a strength. Okay. Show me blood. The Caledonians here. Yeah, I'm going to lose a spear unit for this. It's okay. And let us occupy. Britain hat plus two to motivation plus three happiness in the local province. Belt of the Caledonian Boar, 10% to morale of all missile units and minus 10% for recruitment cost of all missile units. Great. I'm not gonna bring another unit in this army just yet. Actually, I could bring in some Centaur Scouts. Why not? Royal service. Anything else that I wanna do. The guardhouse could work. I will demolish the temple. I will demolish this as well. Probably change the buildings here to, to produce us more food. 
Palairos is also a farm territory, plus they do have a lot of buildings here for bronze. And they are under our influence. I love a challenge. We do have a lot of food, so let's establish an extra army here. Could bring a bunch of these units, the better spears. But then again, probably should use the bronze here for clubmen instead. Now I am going with my Cini to the next level. Which means... Oh no, this is at level 5 to get the next level of units. Is there any other military building that I could build? I could get myself some reinforced chariots. I haven't been using them. But having about two of them in the army could really be good. Hmm. Light swordsman, this we can recruit in another region. We could get ourselves some bowmen as well. You know what? I will take some bowmen in the army. For now, let's see if we can give them some equipment. Upkeep to the hero's army. I'll do this for Agamemnon for the moment. Let's see. Can I also bring in... I guess I could bring in either a priestess or... I could embed the spy. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking about adding this particular agent in this army. But maybe we'll do that at the end. Let's just do some recruitment. For now, I am just going to bring in... Four spears. We'll see what we do afterwards. Portents are no mystery to me. And over here I could get a few more stones and let's do that. Let's increase our stone production. I could push this one further as well. I guess that's about it for now. I have to remember that in Galau we could build ourselves another farm. What is Paris doing? Well, he has established his territory here. A prophecy of doom. I mean, I really feel like that's wasted resource. There's no point in have doing prophecy of doom or things like that in agents that are not even close to other people's armies. He's taking attrition now. Okay. Cult level up. So with this, we have Hephaestus at level 3. Enables the recruitment of Divine Craftsman Agents. Let's see what a Divine Craftsman Agent is. Because I've never had one before. Epic Agent is... Yes. We could bring Marinos here. There are those who devote themselves fully to Artifice. Producing items worthy of Hephaestus Volcanus Forge itself. In own army, plus 3 units gain Warforge equipment each turn. Olympian tools, plus 50, so effect on minor settlements, plus 50% to all resources in the region. 
and in the capitals plus 3 to influence plus 10% to morale of all units when under siege own armies in the region, plus 3 to happiness and the bonuses from Olympian tools are permanent and can stack up to 5 times with diminishing returns. So... Really? <laughs> For an army gilded cage, minus 30% to campaign movement range these armies, minus 60% to generated rage in battle. Minus 13 to morale of heroes and minus 15 to influence in this province. It seems like another one of these agents which you have to use for a short while. I will fully recruit my army first and then we'll do something else. Let's see, two more spears. And then I'll take four clubmen. Yeah, we will need to get a bit more food on our side. Let's go to the village here of Gla just to throw in this extra food. Shepherd of the people. Here is his army. Let's see. On normal march, I cannot reach him. Enemies beware. He is not at war with this guy. I'm afraid I can't. Yeah, I'm not gonna run after him anymore. Time to take Agamemnon once again to the south. I'm sure we'll catch him sooner or later. With this spy, let's go and explore the map. You can rely on me. With you. I feel like taking over another food region so the way we're going to do that is that i am going to bring my armies over here and we're gonna attack this region they have a pretty good army which means good spoils of war and we can also prepare ourselves with this other army And all in all, the next episode, this one was quite slow as far as an episode goes, but... During the next one, it should be quite interesting to see. How far we can go, right? Because we are going to declare war on this region, we're gonna try to wipe them out as quickly as we can. I am thinking of even giving away some of these settlements, maybe this settlement together with this one to Itaka. Maybe we can get ourselves something in return. What can I do for my king? Yeah, sounds about right. I am also going to be working towards discovering Mount Olympus and see what bonuses we could get from it. And finally, Agamemnon will be making his journey down to Crete. I'm not sure we will be able to reach it during the next episode, but we are going to try it either way. With that in mind, this is all the time that we have for today. Hope you have enjoyed even this slow episode. And until next time, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.